All right. Hey, good morning, brothers and sisters. Today is May 22nd, 2024, and I'm back to share a couple more dreams I had. Now, the last dream I shared was uh, what I was told about the rapture, okay? And then on May 21st, I had this dream because, uh, like I said, I continue to pray on what the Lord shows me. So, as always, you guys, just please um, pray for... Pray for discernment, okay? And always take always take everything to the Lord. So on May 21st, I had a real short dream. And in this dream, I felt the imminent return of Christ. In fact, I kept looking up for him, okay? As I was talking to the people there, I kept looking up because I knew that it was so imminent. Now, as I was watching for the Lord and uh, sensing this, I was talking to people about the true meaning of love. And I think this is what the Lord wants us to do because of the fact that the return of Christ is so imminent that it's important that we get this out. And I know I did a video on it. And basically, like, again, I'll just repeat real quick. Love is an action. It's not a feeling, okay? And it, love is putting someone else before yourself. Okay, so that's the that's the true meaning of love. And that is what I was talking to a group of people about as I kept looking up, uh, waiting and watching for him. Because I just had this overpowering sense that the uh, return of Christ was very, very imminent. Okay, but like I said, as I was doing this, I was also talking to people and teaching them the true meaning of love. So I just ask that, uh, again, you pray for discernment, take this to the Lord and share the, this, the message about love with anybody that will listen to you. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put the other dream on here since uh, the first one was kind of short. Now, this dream I had last night, which was May 22nd. Now, in this dream, there was a pastor that I used to, that preached a, in a church that I used to go to. And... He uh, he walked up to me and said, hey, one of the dreams you just had came to pass. And I said, well, I just had a, another dream that the coming of Christ was is imminent. The rapture is imminent. And in this dream, I was also shown three things, okay? One was about a pastor, one was about a friend, and one was about the president. Now, these are all symbolic, okay? And what I was shown is that you cannot trust somebody just because they are a pastor or a priest or someone of the clergy. I was clearly shown that I thought I could trust this person and I could not. The next one was a trusted friend, someone that you thought would always have your back. I found out in this dream that that is also someone I could not trust. The last person who I thought would protect me and take care of me was the president. And actually it was President Trump. Because a lot of people, I guess, put him really on a high a high pedestal that he's going to solve all their problems. I have nothing against him, not what, not whatsoever, just so you know that. These are just symbolic of what I was shown. So, the last one was the president. I thought for sure, as I sat behind him, that he would protect me and uh, take care of me. But I found out that I could not trust him either. All right? So... I, I, I know this dream is symbolic. So basically, what I've always said is the only person you can trust is the Lord God. He is the only person because he is truth. God is truth. He never lies and he is just. He is the only one you can trust. So I was shown those three things. Now, the next scene I saw was I saw people fleeing from their houses and gathering in the wilderness or in the woods, okay? There's no electric, no phone, and so on. So as people arrived, um, well, actually, let me, let me do this in order. So one of the things that I saw as we were fleeing from our house um, to this place in the woods was we, were, we left the house, we were walking towards this place, and I forgot that to grab some eggs before I left because we had chickens. So the person that was with me said, I'll go back and grab some. And at this point is when I looked up in the sky and I saw two objects. They were completely on fire and they were streaking across the sky. Now I knew it wasn't a plane because the plane has a huge wingspan and, and it was smaller than that. It was more like the size of like a space shuttle or a satellite. And I'm kind of going more with the satellite. So again, there was two objects 
they were all ablaze, all on fire, and they were streaking across the sky, and they were just over our heads. I mean, it wasn't that far up. And let's see. Yeah, another space shuttle. Okay, so then the person with me went back to get the eggs, and I continued on. I had this little boy that was with me. I took him to this place in the wilderness. Now, when we arrived there, we we saw as other we saw other people starting to arrive. Okay, other people were were we were all meeting in this place. Now, as people arrived, anything that they had extra, they put in like this bin or this box. Okay, like say for example, uh, someone needed something. Uh, one guy, for example, needed glasses. So I said, well, hey, let's look in the box for a pair of glasses because I know I've seen several pair. So he looked through the box to, uh, you know, get a pair of glasses. And we also were portioning out our food. Okay, so that's basically all that would happen was when we were in this wilderness, in this house, this, this place of hiding, um, all what I noticed, what I took notice of is other people began to arrive, you know, maybe one person and then maybe a couple people and they would arrive and we would portion, we were portioning out the food, anything extra that they had that they brought from their homes, we, we put in a, a bin so that if anybody needed anything, like say, say somebody brought extra aspirin and like I said, extra glasses, my husband and I use reading glasses. So we have like four or five pair around the house. Anything like that, they we just kind of put in a bin for anybody that might need that. Um, now, in reality, I just wanted to go over this real quick. In reality, we don't have chickens, okay? So, again, this is just, I believe this is symbolic again. And um, because, like I said, we don't have, <laughs> we used to have chickens, but we don't have chickens. But I also... I also knew that in this dream that some people would go back to their houses just to gather anything extra that they had and they would bring it out there. So for some reason, we could not stay in our homes or, or we had to leave because we, what we were doing is we we're basically hiding in the wilderness. So I haven't really prayed hard over these dreams this morning. I think um, they're pretty much self-explanatory. And, uh, but I will continue to pray on this and I just ask that you guys do the same. I wanted to get this out because I just feel it's so imminent. So whatever's going to happen, um, ab absolutely one of the most important things we need to have is love. Okay. Because we need to, um, put others before us. We need to, you know, I'm trying to put it into words. I'm sorry. I'm kind of stumbling this morning. But we know that love is the greatest commandment. Okay. We love God with all our heart, soul, and mind. And we love our neighbors. So in two dreams, I was specifically shown um, sharing this message. So the, the, the message of love is extremely important. And I think if anything like this were to happen, <coughs> you know, because again, I don't know if it is symbolic or if people will literally be leaving their homes. But it's important that we have love for one another. Because in this dream, that's what we were doing. Is we were sharing our food. We were uh, providing for others. Like if they didn't have something. And uh, so on. So like, because like I said, I don't think it's literal. Because we don't literally have chickens. But there's going to be a lot of families that maybe come from a farm. So they'll be able to maybe go back and, and grab what they need. I, I don't know. Like I said, I just wanted to get this out there. Ask you guys to pray over it. I'm going to continue to pray and just see what the Lord puts on our hearts. But the most important thing to me is I'm asking you guys to please share the message of love. Because that was something that was so, it was just so important. All right. Because... In the second dream, I just knew that this the coming the catching away was extremely imminent. But the one thing that needed to be pushed out there was love. We need to show people the true meaning of love because they're going to need it. Okay, no matter what happens, no matter what we have to what we may endure before the catching away. And then there's going to be a lot of people that won't be uh, that will be here. And so I just feel that that message of love is extremely important. That's why the Lord showed this to me several times, put it on my heart. 
So that's one of the things I wanted to get out first and foremost this morning. So again, I will guys, um, I will keep you updated. If I get anything else, you guys know, I'll share it. And uh, like I said, please take everything to the Lord. Okay. So I pray you have a great day today here in Pennsylvania. It's absolutely beautiful out. So I'm going to get some work done around the house. I love you guys and I will talk to you soon.